This video will discuss enthalpy in thermodynamics. To start off, let's consider a reversible process where the only kind of work that occurs is pressure volume work, our standard mechanical work that we've discussed in this chapter thus far. So the change in the internal energy of our closed system, delta U, is equal to the heat plus the work that are exchanged with the surroundings, reversible in this case. So delta U equals Q rev plus W rev, where that equals Q rev minus, and our reversible work is minus integral of V initial to V final of the external pressure as a function of volume uh, in, with respect to volume. So if there is no volume change during a process, then the final volume equals the initial volume and the work equals zero. There's no pressure volume work if the volume of the system doesn't change. Then the change in internal energy is equal to the heat, the reversible heat that occurs during that process or what we might label QV. So internal energy gives us delta U, which is equal to the heat in, that it occurs in a system during a constant volume process. So this is very convenient because during a, a process where the volume is constant, if we know how the energy, if we know how the internal energy changes, we know that's the heat that was absorbed into or released from the system during that process. Now we'll ask another question. So for most systems or most most physical and chemical processes, they don't occur at constant volume. What they occur at is constant pressure. If you think about most chemical reactions or most physical processes, they occur in, in an atmosphere, an Earth's atmosphere, which is approximately one bar or one atmosphere of pressure. And the pressure doesn't change much during that process. So it's much more useful to us to have a metric for what the heat is during a constant pressure process than what it is for a constant volume process. So we want some thermodynamic state function which tells us what the heat absorbed into or released from the system is during some reversible constant pressure process. Okay, so the heat during some constant pressure process is equal to the change in the internal energy minus the work that occurs during that constant pressure process. So that's equal to delta U and then the work that occurs during a constant pressure process is negative external P integrated from initial to final volume of dV. But if the pressure is a constant, then the pressure doesn't depend on V. So if the pressure is a constant, we can factor it out of this integral. And the pressure comes outside here. So we have minus, minus uh, integral there. That becomes a positive. So we get delta U plus P integral from V initial to V final dV. So this is delta U plus P times V final minus V initial. The volume is a state function, so the integral from the initial to final volume is just the final volume minus the initial volume. Or we have delta U plus P delta V is our heat that occurs during some constant pressure process. So now let's introduce a function called enthalpy. So this is a, an extensive thermodynamic state function. Enthalpy of a system is equal to its internal energy plus the pressure times the volume. So the infinitesimal or the change in enthalpy during some small change in the state of the system, dH equals d quantity U plus PV. So that's gonna be du plus d PV, and this we use the product rule for this part, so that's PDV plus VDP. And if the pressure is constant, then VDP is zero. So delta H that occurs during some process will be the integral of DU plus PDV. So this is equal to, uh, this is going to be equal to delta U. I need a delta in there. Let's see if I can toss that in there delta U plus P delta V, which as we saw up here is equal to our heat during that reversible process. Delta H equals delta U plus P delta V at constant pressure, which is equal to the heat the system absorbs during that constant pressure process. So for reversible processes that occur at constant pressure, 
our change in enthalpy between the final and initial states is equal to the heat absorbed by the system.